hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is danny james and in this channel i make video editing tutorials for anyone trying to learn a few tricks and techniques when approaching music video projects and video editing generally in this video we're going to be learning some of the popular effects that you see in most drill music videos on my timeline i have a few videos the first effect that we're going to be learning is how to use speed ramping in most of these music videos you'll see a lot of speed ramping whereby before any clip starts it starts with a high space and then it goes to the normal pace how you can do that practically for example this clip right here I would click on this little FX button and then I would right click and take the time remapping to speed you can enlarge this area I'm holding alt on my keyboard and using my scroll wheel to have more space what I'll do from when the clip begins I'll hold shift and go to the right once to go 5 frames and then twice to go 10 frames. This bar right here, I'll increase it. So this is how you change the speed of the clip. You can take it to 150, 200, whatever, even 1000. Right after there, you can hold control to add a keyframe. You see right there. And then for the rest of the clip, I'll take this down to 100, which was the normal speed. This changes the dynamic of the video. So it starts at a high pace and then slows down to a normal speed, which looks really incredible. Uh, there's another way to do this. So let me remove all the attributes on this video. Okay, another way that this is mostly done in such videos, you'll see this speed ramp whenever they transition from one shot to another. In this case, I would go right between the two clips and hold shift, go in front maybe like 10 frames and I'll take my razor tool. You can also press C right here and then I'll go back to the middle, hold shift, go back twice, which is 10 frames. And then I'll highlight the clips right in the middle and I'll nest them. And then what you want to do to this nested clip right here, you can pick a red stretch tool to reduce the time. You can also right click on it, go to speed and duration, put it to 200. And then it's just a matter of dragging the rest of the clip right here. And you can see how amazing it really looks. The second thing that I'm going to be showing you is a white flash transition. It's a really simple transition. Uh, let's transition these two clips, this and this one. You can also do it with the same technique that we just used. All it does is that it makes the clips brighter as you go into another clip. So right now you can see I'm in the middle of the two clips. I'll hold shift, go twice, that is 10 frames. Again, I'll come right into the middle. Shift with my left arrow keys twice to go 10 frames. And then I'll highlight these two frames, right click and I will also nest them. After doing that, you can go to your effects. If you cannot find effects, just go to windows and make sure effects is enabled. You can look for a brightness and contrast. You can drag and drop it into the clip. And now it's a matter of going to the effect controls and making a few keyframes. We are making keyframes for brightness. So you want the brightness to go from zero and we'll go right into the middle of the clip take it to 100 which is the maximum and then at the end of the clip take it back to zero uh, we can preview this little animation yeah you can see it has a subtle flash but it's not very strong if you want this effect to be a little bit stronger you can always duplicate the number of effects that you've put on it like this brightness and contrast i'll hit ctrl c on my windows and ctrl v now i have two effects of the same thing now you can see it's immediately brighter than when it was just one it's brighter than the other so you can preview it Yeah, just like that and the next thing i want to show you is the double scaling in and whenever there are those high beats which hit twice like whenever there are two successive drum beats which hit really hard there is that easy scaling in which goes twice and then it lets go it makes the video really interesting how you can do that just go to your clip and then you can go to your effect controls you are actually adding no effects what we are adding are keyframes for scaling as i said i have a video on this you can check it on my channel you can add a scaling property right here so whenever the beat is about to hit or the drums, you just scale in and scale out, scale in, scale out very quick. In this example, let me delete this keyframe. I'll start the keyframe right here. 
it will go from 100 and then you can go a few frames ahead using here or you can also use the arrow buttons on your keyboard i can use these ones for now i'll go two frames ahead and then i'll take it to about 145 that's good and then we can come back here go two frames and then we can bring it back to 100 again we'll go a few frames ahead and we'll do the same thing we'll add a keyframe right at 100 go two frames ahead take it to 145 then we we'll shall go once again two frames and then we'll have it back at 100 we can preview this animation uh, what you want to do you want to put these keyframes slightly closer to each other i also noticed 145 is a little bit too high for this video i'll put it at 120 and also the other keyframe 120 yeah okay you can see it was very easy to do that you only have to add keyframes for scaling and you're done with that the last thing that i wanted to show you was the cool and popular photo frames which appear in the video they are just like screenshots or photos taken during the set of the video that are just applied on the video as it runs what i do mean in such a situation we'll take a few screenshots of this video let's cut somewhere here and let's pick a few screenshots from here I can pick this screenshot and then how to take a screenshot you can find this little camera right here to export this frame and if you cannot find it you can go to the button editor and you can find a bunch of buttons to work with I'll export three frames from this section right into my desktop You can find somewhere like right here and then it's a it's a matter of just dropping the photo frames as they are i'll go to my desktop and i'll drag the four screenshots that we just took uh, i'll highlight all of them first of all and then i'll place them right here and then you can make sure that they appear for like three seconds or three frames sorry three frames so that they don't take long that's the beauty of this effect you just make sure they appear for a very minimal amount of time one two three i'm using my arrow keys to move forward and then i'm deleting the excess and i'll bring the other one one two three yeah that's basically it let's preview the animation as it is yeah so that's basically what you see in most of these music videos and I hope you've learned something. If you've enjoyed this video, kindly leave a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing. It helps push the content onto other people with the same interest as you. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a lovely day. And of course, make sure to stay creative.